Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where our next destination, we are heading up to Denison to check out a place that's making a name for itself in the world of whiskey as we check out Iron Root Republic. Welcome to Denison. This little town sits right on the Red River and is home to not just the distillery, but to a charming downtown and an impressive who's who of former residents. Including President Dwight D. Eisenhower. He was born right here in Denison and is still all over the town today. You can visit his first place, Veterans Memorial and the State Park, which is actually right next door to Oklahoma. For a small town, Denison has a reputation for being the starting point of some pretty incredible success stories. Which brings us to Iron Root Republic Distillery to check out the latest success story out here in Denison. And they're actually getting so big that they won Whiskey Magazine's award for best corn whiskey in the entire world. So yeah, we gotta check it out. Let's go. So this is, I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and to give me a better idea of what I was looking at, I met up with one of the owners, Jonathan, here at Iron Root Republic. Let me show you around. Yeah, meet space. And all right, Jonathan, before we get into the whiskeys, I do have to ask, how did the whole idea of Iron Root come about? Well, it started first when we wandered into a distillery in Spokane, Washington. Figured out that you could make your own whiskey legally um, and just fell in love with the process. We kind of made a pact that we would uh, start a distillery when we retired. My dad kid around and said, why don't you guys just start the distillery now? Yeah. And um, at that point in time, he, uh, my brother, had jumped on it and uh, we just kind of ran with it. We're about to take a tour, uh, but what else are we going to be doing here today? We're going we're gonna to do the tour. Um, hopefully we're going to crack into some barrels and see what's inside on those. Maybe uh, check some proof on some things, do a couple other things too. All right, I like the sounds of that. You ready uh, to go? Absolutely. All right. All right, so this is where the process first starts, which is with the grain. So what we have here is 1,300 pounds of milled corn. This looks like sand, but it's actually corn, huh? That's, that's a lot of corn. <laughs> cool. All right, so all the grains that we just that we just saw in back are gonna actually end up in this tank first. All so right. This is gonna be called our mash tank. We heat it up to 60 degrees Celsius. We bring in one of those big super sacks with all that yellow corn. Yeah right over the top of this manway here and we're just going to drop it directly in through there and then there's a big mixer on there that keeps everything mixing and what we're going to do is we're going to cool it back down to room temperature okay and now let's move on to fermentation all right okay so this is going to be one of our fermenters okay so and we will just pump from the mash tank into here so it'll take us one day to mash it and then about seven, seven days, days of fermentation okay and then from here we're going to go directly over to the still okay from mashing to fermentation and to distilling, these guys, they really know their stuff. So much so, they had an interesting take into naming their still. This one's called Jim Bowie. Okay. That's because this one comes from Vendome Copper and Brass in, in Kentucky, and so hopefully it's gonna die in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, that's so, good. Yeah. And next, it was off to the barrel room to give it all a try. Right now we have uh, well over 400 barrels back here. Wowzers. So <laughs> today we're gonna show you some of our favorites. I'm gonna go ahead and take, take this bung off here for you. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead and pull some out. You don't mind? Absolutely. Okay, so just hand Put, here. Mm -hmm. And then just ease it right out. Oh shoot, look at that y'all. If there's bubbles, is that okay? Oh, you're perfect. Okay. Just keep going and I will catch. That was the best first time I've ever seen. Seriously? Yep, there awesome. you go. Perfect yeah. pour. I'm just gonna leave it there. That'll Here be great. Go. Cheers, y'all. Granger. Woo. That is whiskey. Woo. <laughs> it's pretty rare when you can say you've had the best in the world of something, but that one little sip made the whole trip worth it. And lucky for me, we weren't limited to just one sip. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Absolutely. So this one has won uh, Best Corn Whiskey in the World from Whiskey Magazine's awards, uh, which is uh, Whiskey's, uh, World Whiskey Awards. That's nice. I will, mm. oh, woo-wee. So 
I may not have the most refined palate, but I know a good thing when I taste one. And Iron Root, they're the real deal. I love coming here. You know, there's not a place in this area that you can come and get a good cocktail. These guys absolutely make the best one. So if there's anybody coming through the area and wanting a good cocktail, a good old fashioned, this is the place to come. It has a different experience. It's not your typical whiskey. It's not your typical alcohol. It's, it's really good quality stuff. All right, that's gonna do it for us here at Iron Root Republic Distillery. If you're ever in the Denison area, make sure to check out their whiskeys, maybe have an old fashioned. Thank you so much to Jonathan for having us out, showing us around. In the meantime, we're just gonna have a drink, call it a day. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Wanna learn more about Iron Root Republic and their line of whiskey and spirits? Visit ironrootrepublic.com. <laughs>